And let's talk about a new era of astronomy dawning at NASA as it released the first set of images from its $10 billion telescope. Xavier Walton spoke to one of the NASA scientists who came to Houston for special testing to make sure it would work in outer space. Lift off from a tropical rainforest. The James Webb Space Telescope launched Christmas Day, and scientists say it's the gift that'll keep giving for generations. Little taste, tip of the iceberg. Tuesday, the world clamoring over cosmic cliffs, displaying hot ionized gas in an interstellar cloud. An incredible image of a dense white dwarf star, and this, a group of five galaxies from far, far away. It was a combination of giddy in the room, looking at the data, oh my God, this is great. So Randy, you've been working with JWST since 2009. So when you see these incredible images for the first time, what was your reaction? Whew. This was complicated. Randy Kimball worked on telescope testing. We would spend months round the clock with the payload in giant vacuum chambers. That specific testing Randy is talking about happened in Houston at the Johnson Space Center in 2017. JWST was inside Chamber A for more than 100 days. We tested straight through Hurricane Harvey. Through it all, more than 20,000 people from 29 states and 14 countries developed a powerful telescope. What new phenomena? does Webb uncover. Do you believe in aliens? There are so many stars and planets that you would have a chance for life to develop that I think it's very likely. Ooh, there you go. And Google getting in on the excitement by releasing this Google Doodle depicting the telescopes as an excited tourist in space, snapping photos from their vacation.